back on November 29, 2018. Not a Robin, not, not one, not a Robin, not a blue, not one, not a Robin, not a blue, not a Robin, not a Robin. The reality is, uh, you know, I'm a Roman Jew, like I, I usually try to say is I'm as confused as a nun on a honeymoon. So, uh, love you very much. I will see you in the next show. Del will, Malia will, probably Rob, others. We're going to try to incorporate more people into these shows because. Many birds have very symbolic meanings like the raw breast, right? Very symbolic of being the breast being covered with the blood of Christ, some say. Others say it's it's a picture of, of Mary. We're going to get into the robin in a second. And I'm talking about birds for a reason, not just because I think birds are cool. Yeah, they're David Keith. Yeah, that was my segue. Back in November 29th. Batman and Robin, Robin Hood. I'm seeing a connection here. So my, it was back when Steve was obsessed with Robin Hood, the Prince of Thieves. This is where it gets really weird, though. Do you know what Joseph Biden's middle name is? saying this to, I don't gotta say anything everything's gonna be said I don't need to say anything about anything birds and nets birds and nets snares guess what Joseph Biden's middle name is Robin Net Robin Net Say my name, say my name. Not a Robin, not, not one, not a Robin, not a blue. What? Not one, not a Robin, not a blue. Chicken. Food in the world. It'll last in me. He had to basically have everything in a moment taken from him, stripped from him, robbed from him. So that he could humble himself. See, obviously, the peril. I actually put this passage out on Twitter and someone said harsh because they thought I was talking about Trump but really I'm talking about this kingdom this Babylonian kingdom which has fallen by the way I find it strange that it literally seems to be playing out because I, I've done videos about what the Antichrist is where the throne of God is right the point of your temples the temple of God is you you know the beast that you really got to worry about is not some literal world figure but you got to worry about that that lion spirit Within you, declaring himself to be God. Do this, do that. You know, don't take this, don't take that. That negative lying voice in your head, that's the Antichrist spirit. The Antichrist spirit. Christ in Scripture is the power and wisdom of God. The Antichrist spirit. you a virus of the crown. I do this video about the fatal head wounds because I had this dream. Always worth $150 more of what they're selling it to me for. That's exactly what Robin Hood was doing. They were allowing people not to buy, but they could still sell their position. Yeah. And they were actually selling positions of people who didn't ask for their position to be sold. Yes, they were just selling you. They would just sell it for you on your behalf. Any, I mean, anything to short, anything to insanity. Yeah. So this is where we're. This is where we're getting. And they did this right in front of your face. Oh, and by the way, who's protecting them? Oh, who's protecting them? Well, that's exactly what Robin Hood was doing. Family, turn in your neighbors. Do that to them. Listen how this goes. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. You good morning. said it right there. A family torn apart. And, wh and white supremacists like Donald Trump, they include that. I, they said that I didn't. Everything there I would agree with, except for that Donald Trump is a white supremacist. I don't believe that at all. Why is that? 
he did too way too much for for folks. I don't believe that he has that at all. And I've spent some time with him in the past, and I never oh. saw any of that. Um, That's cool. But so you know uh, I would call him well, a huh? money supremacist to take control of you at any time. They have removed and destroyed all your previous knowledge and understanding of who you really are. I mean, all of this. First, they bring you to this condition. The world would bring you to this condition where you've got some digital chastity belt. The insanity of that in and of itself. I mean, I'm not going to laugh at the guy, but I mean, this is a real story. And it's very traumatic. And he ended up actually hurting himself. But let me show you what's taking place right now where you were, where Christ was, when anybody that followed Christ, anybody that followed Christ was a terrorist. I mean, even some of them actually had a background in that because it was in their name. I mean, it, it said that they were, <laughs> you know, it said they're, uh, you know, they were essentially a terrorist of that time. We have been through the temporary site that I put up. Please keep in mind that I'm a one man show here. And it's right side up, upside down. Now watch what watch what happens here. Watch Toto go up and reveal and make manifest everything. And by the way, when this happens, then this is what leads to her getting to go back home because you know the whole the whole uh, the whole trip back home was dependent on this. The North is up. So who is coming from the North? Well, I think Jeremiah gives a great description of what is about to take place. Jerusalem cricket. Take a good look at it. A Jerusalem cricket is also called a child of the earth. Look right here. See, Jerusalem cricket wallpaper download, child of the earth. That's one of the nicknames for a Jerusalem cricket right there there is Lady Gaga the one who has her new Oreo cookie out she is in a video by DeAntford and she is birthing it this is a Lady Gaga impersonator and it's not Lady Gaga herself but uh, she's playing Lady Gaga and she is birthing an insect it is a Jerusalem cricket take a look this is where a gadfly cometh from the north. Because north is up. When you come from the north. Chlorella. According to this world. The movie Lucy. I don't even know if they're going to let you see the video. Because I was playing it yesterday, recording it putting it on slow motion, taking the, the volume off, and uh, it wouldn't even let me show the movie itself. But it says, this is Lucy here, and then the other guy, right in the beginning of the movie, and he's telling her, he's saying, <clears throat> it's as easy as pie, in and out, all done and dusted. And she asks him, well, why don't you do it yourself? And he's like, well, the last thing the guy's expecting is a total 10 turning up to deliver the case. And he says, it'll blow his mind, come on. And down here, it, uh, he, has, he has blood on his shirt. And he's coming out to give her a case. And he says, you know what? The other day, I was in this museum. This is the museum he's talking about. He was in this museum, you know what he found out? The first ever woman was named Lucy. So the, when I watched this uh, movie last night, I can see where, I can see where Scarlett, John Han's son, is I can see where it goes from from male to female I can see where the movie theme goes because when when she went in there 
It looks like he's setting her up. Like he already got it done. He already got the surgery done. But in the movie, they they surgically put in like a bag these blue rocks or something. And that's what made Lucy open up her mind towards everything. But truly, I see it like this. Lucifer on Earth, like the, the figure that is playing Lucifer out, or the figure that is, is the one that has all the knowledge. That all the knowledge continually gets passed down to that one person named Lucifer. And then when that person dies, before they die, it gets passed down, it gets passed down. All of the information from the beginning of time gets passed down to somebody named Lucifer, which would be the spirit that continually goes, just like the spirit of Christ, continually goes throughout the entire world, from beginning to end, and there is no end, but from the beginning, there was no beginning. So from forever to forever and whenever, all these spirits are going to continue on. I feel like Lucifer is the one that has all the knowledge. That's why... Right when Lucy dies in the show, when she doesn't die, she turns to the computer and then the computer disappears and then she take, uh, she turns it to basically a, one of the little chip things that you just plug into the computer, save your videos. She turns into that and hands it to Morgan Freeman at the Rocky Steps. And that's all the information. And then they're like, well, where did she go? Or where is, Luce, uh, where is Lucy? And then on the phone, it shows I am everywhere. So Lucifer is the one that's able to see right here through this phone, through that computer, through that TV, through this, through every device and everywhere that can hear you. That's why Lucifer is everywhere can see anything at any given point in time in the, in the entire planet. But when she goes in, there's three other men that are with her, and they all get this thing done to them. So you got three men. So three men, they, they, they do this, they do that. I feel like, with my understanding, three men, they do that, and then Lucy does this. It's just a concealment. It's still there. Uh, it's just concealed. But the men also have the... this entire snake set up. The worm that's attached to the pit your entire life. There's a Bluetooth connection. It's called whatever you log in and watch porn with. That Bluetooth connection that's attached to your worm is what this whole thing is about. So Lucifer would Lucifer would uh, try to get you to perceive that this is what you need to do in order to go to heaven, which quite possibly can be true when it, when you're referring to the literal heaven, the land itself, yeah, there's requirements. Just like there's requirements to be into the Illuminati, you gotta swear your secrecy about things, and you can't you can't like let it out. But it's different from being from the outside looking in because I didn't have to swear anything to anybody about anything of secrecy whatsoever. That's why I'm not dead. I mean, yet. That's why they didn't shut me up on the YouTube platform. If I was one of you guys from the inside and I was snitching on my own uh, people that I was involved with, that's why things got to be taught cryptically. Because you can't prove it one way or another with what is being said by other YouTube channels. Nobody can really prove it. So the three men were in there with Lucy. And she definitely has a look to her that she... 
Looks like she could have been somebody else before. Like a familiar person in her previous life before becoming Lucy. Again, I don't know if you can even see. This is probably a blank screen and you can't see anything because they didn't let me record it. But you look at the lips are fuller. The nose had something done to it. And if you just take the face and like shorten the hair a little bit, or if you remove this part and you put the lips back to normal and you take off the eyelash and eye mascara and makeup and you just go to like original form. Let me say this now because I don't know if, how long it's going to take for this video to upload, but it's 401. It's February 7th, 2021. The Super Bowl is getting ready to come on around 6. Tom Brady is playing against the Chiefs. So my over under is 77 points. And I'll have to go with, you know, my prediction that because God, the Lord told me that um that Tom Brady is going to win the Super Bowl. They're going to score 44 points and the Kansas City Chiefs are going to score 33. Because it's the 55th Super Bowl with the 55 and then the entire amount of points scored 77 and then 44 4 for 4 hunted for dinner and then uh 33 the Masonic favorite number I guess apparently. So the Lord told me that that's what's going to happen and um that the that Tampa Bay is going to win the Super Bowl. Either way, Tampa Bay is going to win. But what would be the score? It's going to be a high-scoring game. Because the, the low-scoring games are so boring. And Wait a minute. Are there even fans there? Also, with 77 points... That would mean they would have to score seven field goals and of the eighth touchdown altogether. When there's a score that is meant to be at a... Whatever the score is going to be in the Super Bowl and the point spread is already determined before the game, so that's what they practice for and that's what is set up to have a... AI algorithm to have all of the plays and the chances of making sure that these points are scored with the most precision the plays that are practiced and talked about and played out all that's why they get like two weeks they got to really get it right so these are professionals can't wait to watch it but when the score gets to that point every play is thought of from both ends, both sides. They both know the plays. And if you do not know what is about to take place, if you do not comprehend what the North is when it says that there is an enemy coming from the North, an enemy of the world, keep in mind. So an enemy of the world is an enemy of the system of the world not of you that there is an enemy coming from the north well if you think about which way is the north everyone wants to put it on this planet right on this where you can see they're going to look at a map and go oh from the north so it's up there in the northwest territories the north if you have north which is straight up south which is straight down and east which is to the left and and uh, west which is to the right depending on which way you're facing the north is up. So who is coming from the north? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, who is coming from the north? Who's coming from the north? A gadfly is coming from the north. 7171. Somebody's literally coming from the north, the land above, and then this Christ spirit is coming from the north, 
taking over the entire planet. Multiple things are coming from the north. It's not just one. Well, I think Jeremiah gives a great description of what is about to take place. Hulu or one of those. Um, and if you can't, I'm sure you can find a place to download it online somewhere. Um, but uh, uh, watch that because I think that we're going to have a really good discussion on that. It's, it's, a, it's amazing that Malia and I had this synchronicity with it. She had mentioned it and I didn't the even recall and then I watched it and then I said these things and we began talking about it and how much it actually applies to today and what we are about to go through in this world. It's, it's truly remarkable. Like when I said, memorize this, have this written on your heart. Um, first of all, in the original writings, the one thing that even scholars of today, biblical theologians agree on is that John very much has a different style than all of the other writers, all of, all of the books of the Bible, uh, that it is a style that um, is very unique and very much... Feminine. that it seems to come from the mind in the hand of a feminine so with that said it's it's truly amazing that um uh that that i don't think that people quite grasp who mary was within the scriptures now besides mary that was at the foot of the cross within the scriptures right the rest of since her and John were so close, let's recall that John was the only disciple besides Mary that was at the foot of the cross within the scriptures, right? The rest of them ran away, fleed. So she had the strength and the wisdom to understand what was taking place, and so did John. So look at it as a two-in-one system with the perception of what he's showing you is the perception that you're supposed to understand is two of them in one. Like there's 12 disciples, but there's really only nine because three of them are like, are d double agents. So with that said, John probably knew very much of the gospels that Mary had spoken and many have even speculated that she might have even been teaching those things to Christ and that he might have been teaching them through her wisdom, which changes everything. Yeah, that does change everything because I've never really heard that theory at all. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so it when does I seem like that the overall theme of the book itself is very different from the other gospels for sure, because they seem to just be stories after stories after stories where hers is a little more or this book is a little more ethereal, different translation, right? Sure. Um, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. And he came as a witness. Remember that word. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. So, Because you have a different translation, right? Sure. Um, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. And he came as a witness. Remember that word. You, 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 have to, you have to evaluate these things. <laughs> sent from God whose name was John. First of all, let's just go again. His name was Yon, mm -hmm. not John. There was no J. He came as a witness. So as a witness, so not all witnesses are good, right? Some just happen to be there. He happened to witness this and speak of it. It didn't mean that he could live in it. It did mean that he could witness it. So just because somebody is spoken of as recognizing Christ doesn't mean that they're necessarily good. Caiaphas in this book we'll get to later, you're going to see he recognized exactly who he was and wanted to exploit him and build a false church on him, which they did. Well, and the no. demons even recognized Jesus. for who uh, uh, Whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light. So he clearly saw something that was unique, that was brought, brought here before him. 
that all might believe through him. So the father can even use evil people, just saying. So before you make John good, you can always have to keep him and he could be good or he could be bad. He could be used on behalf of the father or he could be used in despite of him, right? So there's either way. So that all might believe through him. So John was going to be used, period. Was holding John. What, what was holding him back? So these are the types of things that when you read these, you put them on the shelf and you just go, hmm, let's get to that later as we continue to learn a little bit more about John. So shall I continue reading? Yeah, keep going. The true light, which gives light to everyone. He came to bear witness about the true light that gives light to everyone. So John was incapable of speaking about this true light. He was incapable of speaking about it. He only came to bear witness about it. Okay, so see, this is where I would differ from you. So can I disagree? Sure, of course. Okay. So this is where I would differ. But where it says here, it says, no one has ever seen God. No one. The only God who is at the Father's side, creating a separation between God and the Father. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. The only God yeah, who I is do. at the Father's side. Now, this is where the like Catholic Church has said Jesus is God. Where they've deified the physical man when Christ itself, the word, the vibration that creates all life is the vibration in you, which is why you are already in Christ, you just don't know it. You don't, if you knew my father, you would know me. All and of you these know statements. It was, then you would know it was me. Yeah. So then all of these statements. So when you read John, John is very cryptically, or Mary, or whoever it is that's writing this, is very cryptically and very protected because cryptically, or Mary, or who, John, John is very, but yet your heart is far from me. Right. He's like, you, you don't even right. know him. You don't. If you knew my father, you would know me. All of you know, he would know me. Yes. So then all of these statements. So when you read John, John is very cryptically or Mary or whoever it is that's writing. This is very cryptically and very protected because let's face it that. Let's face it, you can't prove either or of anything that I'm even showing without even saying. There's no need to say anything, but even as I show it, there's no, nobody said anything besides your mind. Your mind is coming to a conclusion. Just because I circled this person here and that person there, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything unless you have eyes to see where the where the arrow is, because the arrow is pointing up. So if you would know that one person is um, communicating with another, and it's like a two-in-one system, and you put a divider between one person's over here at that time, somebody's over here at some other random time, and there's a recording of both pictures, and then one of them talks with the other one, they communicate together. And you have a you have one big conversation. Wait, watch what happens here. Watch Toto go up and reveal and make manifest everything. And by the way, when this happens, then this is what leads to her getting to go back home because <laughs> you presume to criticize the the great Oz, you ungrateful creatures. creatures. And here's Toto pulling back the curtain. <laughs> you presume to criticize the, the great Oz, you ungrateful creatures. And here's Toto pulling back the curtain. Okay, okay I hope this turns out pretty good. I'm going to try to show that this guy here is a creature. I, goes by Robin's Hood. What are you doing? People, you need to look at this. This guy's throat. Look at his throat. Look at his throat. 
His look eyes. At look at his nose. His nose. He's got a square nose. Especially this throat. Look, he's look a freaking creature. Shows up in this video. But look at this picture of him here. This from one of his videos. Okay, look at the throat. I mean, look at this throat. Look at the throat. Really look at the throat. Look at Pay attention to this look, throat here. Look at his fingernail. Look, I, he has a creature fingernail. It's making like a V right here. His Adam's apple. It's crazy. He Not has right. an Adam's apple. Okay. That means he's a man. Look at his throat. Okay, now we're going to go to another one. Same guy. Oh, you mean when I'm... Robin's Hood. Look something? at this throat, people. I mean, this one is so obvious. Look at this throat. <laughs> this is not a human being, people. I'm not. Look at his nose holes. They make triangles. That's insane. His nose holes make triangles, My people. Are triangles Look at his throat. I mean, people, if you cannot see this, look at his throat. <sighs> and he is over here. See? Look, look at his, his, his neck. He has this. Look at his he, face. He has the V neck. Look at his cheekbones. His throat changes. His, his, his Adam's apple. If you really watch this guy, everything about him changes. His Adam's apple. Look at this. He has the V neck. This is not a human being. Not at all. Okay, I'm people. Not from this world. Look at this guy's neck. That is not a human neck. So this is John Quentin. This is not a human third. being. You know. He changes. He's, he's doing his job. Especially his eyeballs. You know about this creature because. That's what this guy is. He's a creature. I'm going to prove it to you if you just pay attention to his eyes. Don't listen to his voice. Nothing else. Just pay attention to his eyes. Look at how they change. In fact, let's turn him down so we can't even hear him. Because he's just a... You see his big alien head? Oh, how did I get that head? Clown. I want you to really look at the eyes. Pay attention to the eyes, people. Pay attention to the eyes. Oh my God, one of them's brown. I'm just gonna look at him. I'm just gonna. I'm one just gonna talk brown, and let you guys look at the eyes. I mean, really pay. Look at that brown. Look at that brown eye, and then the blue eye. Must not have anything to do with recording through another recording of another recording, or some kind of light shadow attention to the eyes how they change shape human eyes don't change shape people they just don't change shape your eye is supposed to be a 360 degree circle complete circle your eyeball should be a complete circle you know the one thing that would kind of give it away as to like the motive would be this is a, a big alien head so there's some kind of something stretching my head a bit and it looks like I'm being discolored on the other end. But the only question is, does this guy... No, it's not even a question about does he actually believe what he's saying. Because even SJD doesn't... When he's saying things about he doesn't believe what... It's not an actual true statement in his, in his heart. But you have to say it anyway. Okay, say. they should never change. <clears throat> they should never go from a circle... <clears throat> To look like, see, see how his eye, watch, see how his eye changes, people? Right there, did you see he's how he's, oh God. how he has a slit pupil? He's a, he's a snake. Let's watch how the eye changes. And like the outer ring of his eye will get bigger and thinner, it'll change. That doesn't happen. But let's take a look at both eyes together because that's that's where you're going to really n know and see. Like definitely, because one of them is definitely. Look how out. this eye, this eye is different from this eye. Okay. Really pay attention. See how it's a different color. See, I thought you guys gave up already, like, of trying these things. And his eyes would go from gray to blue. But I just noticed if you watch this side right there, it'll change.
It's almost red. See that? It almost is red. What? That's so insane. Look at it. That, that's the thing about YouTube is I've learned that people just have jobs to do and you, you don't attach feelings to the to anything if, if necessary you just don't attach feelings to it when when it's something like that because to think that somebody actually believes what they're saying is way far-fetched to believe that people just have a job to do and they know how ridiculous it is when they're done like <laughs> oh, ain't nobody even gonna believe that <laughs> I swear <laughs> I swear picture as a baby she called me flare nostril baby because my nostrils are flared out my face is all red because i couldn't breathe from the gate as soon as i was born look at this creature you take my lungs oh, or something out of my freaking body he makes me laugh look at that eye that eye is fucking whack jack look at this eye people hey folks this is john <clears throat> i had some videos before I myself know that i'm a human being and Robin's a creature. On YouTube, show him what I look like. Took him down. Also had a bunch of other videos of off my shirt and fucking proof to you. Alright. Hopefully this fucking is picking this up. You know? Sit relaxed. Yeah, I'm fat, overweight, got fucking tits, I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to show what the fuck a human man looks like compared to a non-human fuck. Now. You know, Hollywood has full meat suits. Even even as you're trying to convince that a human being is not a human being and an alien is a human being, what I've learned is the amount of people that are behind the scenes that have access to certain things, this could just be a meat suit for all I know. Fucking man. Alright? What your fucking nose looks like. What my nose looks like. It's fucked up because it's seen a couple fists in its day. Teeth, see? Teeth are all fucking nasty and fucked up because I'm a human being who smoked fucking cigarettes for way too fucking long. I finally quit a little over three years ago before my grandson was born. That's cool. You know? Take a look, people. I'm a human man. Look at what a fucking human man looks like. Whoa, a human man. A human. Like a... Are you a human? 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 Human being? Human being? Are you from the house of Ham or a human being? So I have another fan. I just want to give you a shout out, John um, Quentin Wise Third. See, I blocked your account because you you comment in that's. When you start commenting in a way, it's just like, get out, of, get out of here with the negative energy. There's no need for you to even have the negativity. But if you can comment in a normal way, you know, I won't, won't bother cutting you off. But some people just get ridiculous. They get ridiculous because their job is to get ridiculous. It's not my money. It would be their money. Copy that? Christmas isn't Jesus' birthday. <clears throat> it's the sun's birthday. The sun god... It comes out of its winter solstice and moves into its summer solstice. And so it's birthing from winter, from cold, Christmas, and all of that. Christmas isn't Jesus' birthday. <clears throat> it's the sun's birthday. It comes out of its winter solstice and moves into its Christmas and all of that. Christmas isn't... Jesus' birthday. <clears throat> it's the sun's birthday. The sun god Rob. Sun god Rob. 
on what to do and what you what you can expect right now through who you're becoming because that mirror is up and the serpents are out that's why john says when the sadducees come out and he says you brood of vipers who told you of the wrath to come who's he talking to he's talking to the sadducees the brood of vipers how can they be a brood of vipers unless they honor and worship the enemy the serpent because that mirror is up and the serpents are out that's why john says when the sadducees come out and he says you brood of vipers who told you of the wrath to come who's he talking to he's talking to the sadducees the brood of vipers how can they be a brood of vipers unless they honor and worship the enemy the serpent because they do and it's the same thing so it is a brood of serpents so trust me they're coming out to feed on you because you're tearing down the walls. You're putting a mirror to their face and showing them how their entire church is literally just a fake fig tree. It doesn't have anything on it. It doesn't bear any fruit. It doesn't have anything on it. It doesn't bear any fruit. They're seeing this fruit and it scares them silly. You're tearing down the walls. You're putting a mirror to their face and showing them how their entire church is literally just a fake fig tree. It doesn't have anything on it. It doesn't bear any fruit. They're seeing this fruit and it scares them silly. Scares them silly because of what this does. Because before you and before these words, they knew no sin. They're perfect. They're a church. Their, their perception is being reality. They're great. They're wonderful. But the reality is, none of them are producing the fruits as you can see on how they attack me. And learning this, because that's what it takes. You gotta be away from that world, away from all of that, away from all of the cathedrals and all of that, because that's the world. And if that's what's required to get into the kingdom, that you have to go and be a part of this world to get into the kingdom, who's kingdom are you going into? Particularly on who owns the world here, as it's articulated in the scriptures, as I've said. God, or that Satan is, owns the world here, as it's articulated in the scriptures, as I've said. All of that. Because that's the world. And if that's what's required to get into the kingdom, that you have to go and be a part of this world to get into the kingdom, Whose kingdom are you going into? Particularly on who owns the world here. And so now you can begin to disclose how you understand the prophet. Now you're speaking prophecy because you've seen these things come to pass. You know they're coming. And so when they do, they begin to look at you. How did you know this? It's really easy. It's written in the book. It's written in the book, and I've seen all of the evidence. And every single time the Father shows me something, I read, I've read it in the book, and he said it would happen. And so now you can begin to disclose how you understand this, because now you are seeing it. So as I'm telling you this, you're going to understand the Beatitudes, and you might be able to actually tell somebody who they are. You might actually be able to talk to them about this. You're going to understand the Beatitudes, and you might be able to actually tell somebody who they are. You might actually be able to talk to them about this. An unbelievable, unbelievable code that he rises up and he builds a hedge against that. So the mere fact that there is a rise in negative energy, you need to seek out the positive because that negative energy cannot rise. It is rising because the positive energy is coming up. The more we speak, the more that you learn these things, you might think that you're just a few 23,000 subscribers. Believe me. The power of love and the power of what is taking place right here super wipes it out and you know that you're just a few 23,000 subscribers believe me the power of love and the power of what is taking place right here 
supersedes all the power of the enemy. I mean, this is before I had 23,000 subscribers. All of it. I think. Not even a year in. I did gain a lot of subs from the Walmart video, but when it comes to algorithms and keeping, making sure that you stick with a certain amount of subscribers until the end when you can finally get a hold of the people that were talking beforehand, before you woke up, to have videos to go back to because they knew that once you wake up that you would go back to their videos and do exactly what I'm doing right now. A tiny little bit of, a tiny little bit of love destroys a whole lot of evil. See, this is the part that kind of gets me amazed in a sense is if that's the case, they're doing videos or talking and they're talking about into the future, but it hasn't happened yet. But people have to wake up to an extent, which means what they're doing has to work. What they're doing in the world has to wake people up in order to get you to go back to look and see. Oh, interesting that you were referring to that in the future about what was going to happen now when you go back and take a look. Wipes it out. Wipes it out. And you know, the amazing thing is, is from Creative Works, you'll find this. You'll find, of course, you'll find the Father's message and you'll also find the enemy's message. But as ridiculous as Monsters, Inc., that the enemy feeds off the screams of the little children. And it isn't until they discover at the end of the movie that it's the laughter of the little children that has way more energy and they don't need to worry about it so much. So it changes the entire complexion of the entire situation and that's precisely what will take place. And that So all you gotta do is get them to laugh. Get people to laugh that never felt like laughing before. But right now, I'm falling in love with my father.